kind of spicy fiat here. Well, hey y'all, welcome back to Doug's Cars. Now we're heading into the Sotheby's auction. Uh, there's three auctions here uh, today and uh, we're going to Goodings after this, but uh, yeah, it's time for uh, Sotheby's and uh, yeah. So, uh, well, yep, yeah, I'm looking like there's a whole lot out here. Let's go check a look inside. I see an F40. Just saw one of those like half an hour ago. Eh, they're just a diamond dozen. Wow. Open to the public. Oh, here we go. Oh. Uh, let's see. Some kind of spicy Fiat here and a, well, another, just, another spicy Fiat. I just can't take the spicy Fiat. <laughs> <laughs> it is. There, th this one's extra spicy, this Fiat. Super spicy Fiat. Are you filming me filming you? Yes, I'm filming, I'm filming you, me filming me. you filming you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, Ferrari, Ferrari. Um, what is this thing? That is. Um, this is this is that um, this is that Jaguar 220 I think that was restyled. Um, I need to do some more research on this one. I'm pretty sure this was a one-off. XJ220 that have been restyled. Yes, it is. Jaguar Sport. Oh, this is XR15. Okay. This is a pretty sweet car and I love the color. Really, really, really cool. Um, oh, more Ferraris. And GT. I like the color on that. Of course, the music going on is uh, overwhelming. Ooh, nice. Ooh, the going. SLS, these are cool. I always like the SLS. Um, this one's got a little too much stuff on it for me. I prefer the more classic, luxurious ones. And then the newer version of the GT, very, very cool. That only means one thing. It's a Zonda. Pagani's are very cool. This is Zonda R racing. It's got a roof scoop like um, Tavares put in his McLaren. I've only seen a couple of Pagani's ever in my life. So yeah, this is pretty cool. 4.8 to 6.8. I have a feeling that uh, we won't be here when this goes up for auction. That's too bad. Very cool. All right, I have definitely never seen a Bugatti in person, and this is a Chiron, Chiron, whatever. Got the big C there on the side. Very cool. Um, yeah, that's very, very cool. Mm, very nice front end. I can show the inside here. See the quilted leather. The tiny steering wheel and all just the minimalist interior. Very, very cool. Uh, yeah. The size of those wheels. Very sweet. <laughs> I mean, just to, just to be in presence of, you know, basically the fastest production car ever made. Pretty sweet. There's a W16 engine back there. and. That contrasting purplish blue does work well with the black, although I think this would look better in a lighter color. But who am I to complain? I could never be able to afford one of these. Unless y'all hit subscribe and watch this video many, many times. I'm just gonna take a walk around in here because it's air conditioned. Aston, beautiful supercharged Auburn. Hotel Speedster, wow. I mean, <laughs> hmm. Packard, they had those really cool headlights back then on those. Just the way you could tell it was a Packard. Chrome wheels, kind of Royce thing. Uh, eh, it's just a Ferrari. Uh, beautiful silver. Mm. <laughs> 37 Mercedes 540K Cabriolet B. Wow. Bentley, four and a half liter. Mercedes Roadster. I don't have any pontoon boats here for you. Um, I mean, there's one another Packard. There is here. Really? Does it have an outboard motor or is it inboard? Uh, inboard. Okay. Most of these cars are inboard motors. No, it's not too. There's a boat tail speedster. Check out the shifter on the Alfa. On the Alfa? V16 Caddy. A very unusual color of hearing aid beige. Golly. I mean, I guess that's the way it came, but... Or maybe it's just the light the lighting in this tent, but... I don't know if I would have gotten that. Oh. I've seen... This is a Superleggera. I've seen these, I think, on... Um, uh, Wayne Carini's show. But he said to check out the shifter. Oh, it's like a 2CV or something, except coming out of the dash, it comes up out of the floor and angles back. Very cool dash. This is when they made them right-hand drive in, in Italy for some reason, even though they don't do that there. 
330 GTC, so that's the coupe version. This is a, a GT3, so it doesn't have the scaffolding in the back like the GT2 would have. 56 Benz 300. These just look so, by 56, they're elegant, but they look so old fashioned because they have the, the big fenders like a 30s car, but you know, Mercedes was recovering from the war still, and that's just what they did then. Luncha. Flaminia. I think these were front wheel drive. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know everything about these. But uh, 575,000, that's a beautiful interior. Wow, super lightweight. This is where everyone's hanging out down here, is this Tatra. These uh, the rear engine V8s, they killed uh, lots of Nazi soldiers. Uh, they were known as Nazi killers because the, the engine's way back here, and it was a fast car, and it was big, so they would use it for their officers. See the air intake there, and the fin on the back. Anyway, these soldiers wouldn't know how to drive, and the German military then, the soldiers drove and the officers were on the back, and uh, they killed a lot of people because that rear engine and swing arm suspension made these very unwieldy. They have a bunch of these at the Lane Museum in Nashville, Tennessee. I highly recommend checking it out. Trafficators on the side instead of turn signals. <laughs> it's cool. It's just weird with those headlights in the middle like that, like bug eyes. Auction isn't going on yet, you can see. Uh, nobody here, but uh, man. There's a lot of air-conditioned cars here. Have a nice Aston and gold E-Type. Very interesting. And then we got another... This is a Superleggera DB4. So this is not a DB5, and it looks the same. A Dino. Nice. Gosh, the music's loud in here. Um, that one's got a valid Virginia inspection on the Cobra. Nice dark green with the tan to saddle interior. Uh, 300 SL. Also in a very good color. Uh, gray interior, but yeah, this is one of the world's best cars right here. Um, it's not the going, but uh, that's fair. Here's another Ferris Bueller lookalike. Very, very nice. Two, it says 275 GTS. Uh, getting into a, ooh, a little race car. This is a, oh, it's a Maserati, okay. Driving light there in the front. Another Dino. These things have really come up in value. These are $300,000 cars. Seems like all day. Nice color. A dark gray. Daytona. Another racer and Allard. So these had Cadillac engines, I believe. Um, it's funny. I'm, I'm watching this on the screen on my camera. And it looks red, but it's actually a deep uh, maroon. Dark maroon. Race 911. <laughs> 68S. Very nice. I wonder if that's from the Brumos collection. This is uh, an Alpha. So, oh, it's got the side scoop for the intake. 55 1900C, very cool. And we'll finish it off with some older cars here. These are from the 30s, man. We, it's a well, it's 29 Rolls Royce. Look at those giant headlights. Just massive, humongous headlights. Beautiful, dark red, two-tone uh, Packard. 12-cylinder uh, Packard here. Really like this one. I think it's my favorite of, of these cars that are remaining here. Look at the wood trim on the top of the door, the door cap, and, and the gauges, and the dark red interior, and, and you just keep turning up everywhere. <laughs> uh, another Packard. I think someone's inspecting the car. Maybe he's going to be a bidder later. This is a 31 Packard. Let's see, this looks like a Chrysler. It is. It's a Chrysler Imperial Coupe. Convertible Coupe. Ontario registration. That's okay, because it would be the same as the U.S. model, obviously. Um, cramped in there. I mean, giant car, two seats. <laughs> um, and a Lincoln down here. Hey, well, I have a Lincoln, so let's take a look at the Lincoln. I drove my Lincoln here, actually. Ooh, windy. Uh, uh, that's green. 32. Very green, very green. Two-tone. The fenders are a different color green than the hood. 175 to 225 for this Lincoln. I wish my Lincoln would bring that much. Mine also has a much bigger interior, I must say. And I have a lot of buttons on the steering wheel, too. That's got a lot of switches there. There's your trunk, there's your rumble seat. That's where you put grandma. Padded leather top. And I guess you could adjust the mirror by adjusting where on the spare tire it's secured to with straps. No power mirrors in 1932. Y'all, this would be the, the first Cadillac Cimarron, basically. I'm gonna call it the precursor to the Cimarron. This is a LaSalle. It was their budget brand, although look at this car, it's amazing. But yeah, LaSalle. If you ever watch the old show, All the Family, with Archie Bunker, and they sang about their LaSalle and how great it ran. <laughs> this is a LaSalle. <laughs> cool logo. The cheap Cadillac. 
one of the most amazing mechanical cars of its time at Duesenberg. I mean, these had double overhead cams. I mean, they just, yeah, they were four valves per cylinder. Some were supercharged. You had a special tool to turn that octagon there to unlock the car. This is a Model J. It's not an SJ, so it is not a supercharged. These are more prevalent. A little bit of backseat room there, you could think. But of course, these all had bodies not made by Duesenberg. The earlier cars, they did make their own bodies, but not on these ones that we all think of and say that's a doozy. These lights down here actually look a little off kilter. It's because they turn with the steering wheel. You can see the, uh, there's a little bracket there behind them or behind the bracket that moves and that, that turns them back and forth when the wheels are turned slightly. <laughs> Just an amazing car. You know, people go their whole lives without seeing one of these and Jay Leno has several. More power to him. Uh, and there's your trunk on the back. Oh, 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 there's, there's everyone's uh, childhood poster car. Punta. Wow. I'm just gonna have to just come right over here and look at that because, I mean, hey, when I was a kid, this was it. 83, 5000S, 625 to 675. It's got the telephone dial wheels. Wow. The crazy bodywork. They've got the uh, door open now. So taking some pictures. For, wow. And then the, the iconic rear end on this, just gorgeous. So weird, futuristic. Lamborghini Copenhagen. This was a Danish market Lambo. Wow. This must have been the only one driving around in Denmark. It would have been such an unusual thing. And you couldn't take it to McDonald's because that's as much as the window opens and you couldn't get your Big Mac through there. You'd have to just get one of the regular wimpy burgers that are about that thick. Wow. Uh, I love this car. <laughs> very, very cool. Oh, crazy wiper. It actually has two blades. It's got a longer blade and then a shorter blade behind it. Man, blue stitching or blue piping on the on the black seats there. Really, really sweet ride. I can see it's got yellow lines there for the, for the uh, spark plugs. And on that note. I hope you enjoyed Sotheby's. There's no auction going on right now, so we'll have to come back later for that. But thanks y'all so much for watching Doug's Cars. Stay tuned for more. Uh, we still got to go to Goodings. We got another video coming out. And I've got all of Amelia Concord weekend to make videos for. So hit subscribe, please watch, and uh, help me buy one of these someday. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching, y'all.